what's up divas and divos so you guys already know what time it is it's your girl so first of all let me just start off by saying this um okay so i am going to show the hair tutorial for this wig that i'm rocking um but i actually ended up doing like this portion over and the ending or whatever because for one um it was just going to be like a voiceover video and I did record the whole entire thing. I'm not going to cut anything out of it, but I decided to do like an intro because um, I realized after just looking at the pictures that my eyebrows were like so dark, like they were dark, like they weren't black, but they were like a very dark brown with a, a tad bit of black over it very lightly. But versus like different color hair, like, you know, like the darker color hair or like browner color hair. They don't appear to be so dark my eyebrows but when i looked at the pictures with this particular hair they was just they just stood out my brows looked like they were like jet bra jet black it just really didn't look good so i wanted to just let you guys know that ahead of time like don't judge me for my brows um i did fix that so now they are this color um i ended up using like these other eyebrow gels that i have which are our pomades which is like a color um like taupe it's like a very 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 like ash brown and then like a chocolate which is really light brown too and then i use some of my dark brown so i used three colors just to get like the achieved color and i think this color looks pretty good because it's not too light i could have just used brown but i didn't I decided to use just this color um and i thought it went just good but the dark black or like the black did not look good at all um so i wanted to just share that with you guys also the hair is by recool i have actually worked with them three times um and this hair was sent to me like geesh um this is july i would say like back in like april um while i was away in new york i got this hair and i was so indecisive of what i was going to do with it because i didn't really want to wear it blonde because or platinum blonde because i just didn't think that it would look well on me especially because i've already made a unit like this with just a closure and i put like these very light brown like this color right here highlights in it and i guess it was just too much hair in the way i had it curl i just really didn't like it as much but i went out to sally's and i bought like this light sky blue and this like minty green because that was my intentions to actually dye it that color but i didn't decide i didn't decide you know what i actually am going to try it as a platinum blonde so instead of me having just like blonde roots because i don't want to have blonde roots like i don't i don't know i don't like to have like platinum blonde roots especially because my hair does not grow that color and plus we already know it's a wig or a weave or whatever but i just wanted it to look just as natural as possible so i purchased some hair dye from um the dollar tree which was their easy i think it's called easy i don't know what it's called okay but i used the color light brown i was going to use like a medium brown but it would have been a little bit too dark i would have thought so i decided to go with the light brown because you know what you can always just like go over it if it's too light so i do like the way the light brown roots came out i'm going to have to touch it up though in like certain spots i noticed because it just seemed to have faded out a little bit just from with the washing and then i toned the hair and the hair mousse so i'm probably not going to use that particular brand from the dollar tree because it doesn't hold up well so i will be retouching the roots of the frontal but overall it was an easy process and i actually do like the hair a lot like it's very long um i do believe it's if i can remember correctly it's 22 22 20 and i think an 18 inch frontal i'll definitely post the information below for you guys but the one thing that i did show you guys on camera is i really really had to customize this unit because when i made it it fit perfect like it didn't fit perfect but i made it just as i make all of the other units but it seemed like the hairline was so much of it it was too many curves and it just was so uniform and it was a little bit just too much for me and it came like to right here so on camera i did show you that i did cut off a lot of the hairline just so that it could fit me properly and it's still very roomy so it's not like it's too small or it's not like it just fits it just actually still there is room to it um but i really did have to customize this wig a lot overall i do like the hair a lot like for real I could get used to this like seriously i could definitely get used to this so i'm not gonna hold you guys too long we're gonna get into this video and you will see me at the end okay. 
There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Okay, guys, so let's get straight into this unit. As you guys see, I did make it, and it is a lace front to eye side. I sewed an elastic band in it, and I did put two combs in the back. So first of all, the cap was a little bit too big in the back portion, so I did take that in some, and I did use the Dollar Tree hair dye in the light color brown just to darken the roots some. So as you guys see right here, I do have like these really long braids in the front of the hairline, and that is because the hairline, if you can see right here, the dips and curves in it are way too much for it to look natural and it's just too much of it. So I decided just to braid it all together because that is the portion that I'm going to cut away. I really don't like my lace frontals to be on my forehead or near my eyebrows. You know, I do complain about, oh, I have this long head, or blah, 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 but I still want my hair to look natural. So I'm just gonna take my small scissors right here and I'm going to cut behind the braids. Um, so that way, that is where I want the hairline to actually begin. As you guys see, I will cut some of the hair that is part of the braids onto the hairline just so that way I can cut those into baby hairs. But I felt like this looked more natural. I'm not really sure what the cap size or excuse me, the frontal width was because it was a little bit bigger than most. But you know, it still worked out. You know, you have to customize these lace frontals just to your head circumference. You just can't put them on and decide that you can wear them. So regardless of what, you'll definitely have to customizing. I did I did take some of the braids and I did cut it down for some of the baby gifts. Now once again I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also customize where the ear taps are because as you guys see right here it's pretty long it's like right above my ear so I am going to be cutting off a nice chunky amount of the hair but if I don't do so it's definitely not going to fit properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my small scissors and I'm just going to cut that amount of hair off and lace because it needs to be right above my ear so that it could fit comfortably and I'm going to go ahead and just trim away any excess lace so that way it can just sit as close as possible to the hairs. I didn't want any of the lace to just be you know showing or peeking through and I'm also going to go on to the opposite side and I'm going to go ahead and customize that as well. Like I said, I need to cut off a lot of this. And as you guys see here, I'm just going to cut above my ears so that way it doesn't fit me like a cap. Now I did sew this like normal, but so I'm not really sure why it was so big, but you know, like I said, I customized it. I had to take the back end just to make it fit a little bit more snug and I had to cut away some of the hair in the front. But you know, it's still all good. So right about now, you know, it's just like my usual thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of like adhere some of the lace to my hairline and I'm also going to push some of the hair back so that way it's just sleek and slick and it's just going to be easier to apply. So the mousse that I use is always from the Dollar Tree. Um, I love it. It's absolutely a dollar and it works really well. And you guys already know the infamous green toothbrush which is my sculpting brush. Now if you guys have seen a recent video, I did use an actual baby hair edge brush but I'm really not like a huge fan of it, so you know, I'm just going back to what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and take my rat tail comb, and I'm just going to just make some baby hairs. Not too many. I just wanted to make it look just, you know, like I said, as natural as possible. That's the one reason why I added the light brown roots to it, so that way it can just blend in a little bit more. So from this portion right here, I'm just going to go ahead and just style as normal. You guys already know the gist of this. It's just me with the styling mousse, and then you will see me just trimming away any excess hair. I do like to have sideburns in my lace front just because it does help it lay a lot flatter. You don't want it to be crispy hard, but you do want it to hold. So one of my favorite hairsprays is the Pump It Up. This works really, really well for adhering your lace wigs. I'm telling you guys, I can wear my wig like for a few days with just those two products, and I'm good to go. Um, but if your preference is glue or that to be gel, then by all means use what is, you know, 
just more easier for you. And just to allow the mousse and the hairspray to dry, I just take my blow dryer and I place it on cool heat and I just go back and forth with my toothbrush and I will also use a rat tail comb just to lie it down a lot flatter and then I will also use the nozzle of the back of the blow dryer so that way it does allow the hair to lie a lot flatter. So once again I'm going to do this on the same or the opposite side but the same exact method. So now that I've went ahead and blow dried my entire wig down, it is just steady, it's good, it's, it's durable, it's not moving anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to part my hair. So as you guys see, the dark or the light brown does look really nice with the root and the hair is super straight. I do like this hair from Riku. I'm really actually glad that I didn't color it like the blue and the green because I probably would have worn it once and then that would have been it. Now the product that you see in my hair, my hand, is a wax stick and this just helps a with any flyaways that you may have and it also allows the hair to lie a lot flatter so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll take my hot comb and I will just go ahead and press into the wig so that way I can get it to lie as flat as possible I do like to straighten the ends with this it's not like a really expensive hot comb I did purchase it from Walmart for 20 bucks but it does do the trick it's not like my favorites but you know I'm just going to use it now just to kind of like give the front volume I do take my hot comb and I kind of like lay it up against the hair so that way it doesn't lay flat flat to my head. I really don't like my hair to be too flat to my head. I do like some type of volume in the front. So that is the reason why I'll use the hot comb just in the frontal area, you know, just to give it some volume. And for the most part, the hair is super sleek. It's very straight. I like it. I did not use all of the hair they sent me, which if I remember correctly was 22, 22, 20 and an 18 inch frontal. Um, you know, I think there was actually like, if I'm correct, was it three or four bundles? I think it was three full bundles um, and I did have some left or it might have been four bundles. Either way, I'll definitely post all of the information down below of what they sent me. But Recool really Hair has some really amazing hair. It's really affordable, it's quality hair. I have worked with them on two other occasions. So this makes round three. And I will say I have done platinum blonde hair prior, but this one I do like the most because it's a lot thicker than the one I did prior. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this is how it came out. Of course, you guys know I already went ahead and changed my brows because hunties, they were not on point. And we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the video. I would like to get to know if I could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know then I won't be for real I could be wrong but
Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. As I did tell you guys, I did tone it. I just used my Sally hand, Sally Beauty Supply Store, um, Sally Beauty Supply Store purple shampoo. And um, you know, it didn't really need to be toned like that because it was already like the perfect color platinum blonde. But I just wanted to see if it was gonna take it to just like a different level, if it wouldn't be like so like in a yellow tone. And it did come out really good. Um, I like the hair, like I said, it's long and it's straight. I don't have to do anything. I mean, if I wanted to put like a little bit of curl in it, I probably would. But I just like to wear it like this. I didn't put the dye on the entire unit. I just put it on the frontal and like some portions of the wefting track in the back area. So that way in case I did want to like pull it up, then I could do so. But um nothing like major. Like I said, I will go over it again with some better hair dye because I just feel like the Dollar Tree one didn't really do justice for it like that. Like because it looks like it's fading. But I mean like it did um it did come through for your girl like for real for it to be a dollar. But I do like to have some type of dark roots, especially when I'm doing like color hair, any color hair. I just that's just my preference. Everybody has their own preference. But you can definitely check out Recool. They got some really bomb ass hair. Um and I appreciate the fact that they were so patient with me um because like I said I was so undecisive. I didn't know what color I wanted to do it. I wanted, you know, I was going to do it yellow, then I decided not to. Maybe next time I will just do it yellow and make it just so easy for me and I'll just have to have like these darker roots. But Yes, I do like it. It's not dry. I've worn it for two days now um, and it hasn't tangled um, or anything like that. I've gotten a lot of compliments in public. It's just thing, you know, like they like my hair and what have you. But I think like when you do like these colors, you definitely have to make sure your brows are on point because if they are too dark for this, hunties, you will be all thrown off. I guess definitely for me because, you know, I'm just like, so paranoid about my brows anyway all the time so yes but you guys let me know what you think of the hair i will post all of the information below for you guys and yeah don't judge my brows for the video okay love you guys stay deep and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and i'll see you guys on the other side